Hello. Do you feel discomfort in your feet, like a burning sensation or tingling? Is it a spine problem, a lack of circulation, or something more serious? What's going on? Today, I'll talk about the 10 leading causes of burning feet, and if you experience tingling, paresthesia, or painful sensations, there's a good chance you fit into one of these causes. So stay tuned. But before I delve into the causes of this burning sensation in the feet, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel to not miss our health tips, and ring the bell to receive notifications. It's also crucial to share this knowledge with your friends and family because, when it comes to your health, your health is worth sharing. Could you share it? And tell me, do you feel tingling in your feet? Is it more at night when you're lying in bed? Do you know the diagnosis? Which part of the United States are you from? Please write it down below and help others learn more about the causes of burning feet. Let's get into it. What can cause this discomfort in your feet, this burning or tingling? This burning can be caused by injury, irritation, inflammation, neuritis, or compression of one of the nerves coming out of the spine or a branch going to the legs and feet. If you have any diseases that can affect peripheral nerves, such as amyloidosis or diabetes, or if you have any nutritional deficiencies, you'll also feel this burning in your feet. Are you suffering from this? Take your feet out of the covers, put on socks, and change positions, but most of the time, it doesn't help. It's because the problem is elsewhere, in the spine, in the nerve. Stick around. I'll separate the most common causes, with the last reason being the most frequent. The first cause of burning feet is plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is one of the most common conditions that cause pain in the soles of the feet. It is an inflammation of the plantar fascia, a band of fibrous and resilient tissue that runs along the sole. When you put weight on your foot during a walk or run, it increases tension on the fascia. Over time, with overuse, age, and excess weight, this fascia loses some of its elasticity and can become irritated with normal daily activities, causing intense pain when you step. I've had this, and it's very uncomfortable and takes a long time to improve. Sometimes, your burning feet are due to plantar fasciitis. The second cause of burning feet is varicose veins. Varicose veins are veins that dilate and deform and sometimes become visible in thicker, blue veins on the thighs, legs, and feet. But the problem with varicose veins is not just aesthetic. They can also cause burning in the legs and feet, a feeling of heaviness and fatigue, and pain in the area. Take a look at your legs. Are there vein dilations? Varicose veins can cause inflammation of the affected area, leading to swelling, itching, burning and even a change in skin color, turning it into a more brownish and dark color. The discomfort from varicose veins worsens at the end of the day, especially if you stand for a long time or sit for a long time. If you have burning in your legs and feet and see varicose veins, consult a vascular surgeon, who is the most appropriate doctor for this. The third cause of burning feet is medications. Some medications, like chemotherapy for various types of cancer and even antibiotics like quinolones, can cause nerve damage and neuropathy. Quinolones are commonly prescribed antibiotics you may have heard of or even taken ciprofloxacin levofloxacin. They can damage nerves, even permanently. In 2013, the FDA had already announced this serious complication with fluoroquinolones, which treat sinusitis, urinary tract infections, and pneumonia. So, if you took them, your burning feet may have been a side effect of the antibiotic, even if it was months or years ago. That's why the use of antibiotics should be specific and only if really necessary. As a side note, quinolones also increase the risk of tendonitis, tendon rupture, and even aortic aneurysm. So, be careful. The fourth cause of burning feet is vitamin deficiency. A lack of B-complex vitamins such as vitamin B12 and vitamin B1, thiamine, can affect nerves. Sometimes, you may be eating right, meat has a lot of B12, but your body may not be absorbing it. You might be suffering from atrophic gastritis or have undergone surgery like bariatric surgery and may not be able to absorb this essential vitamin properly. This deficiency of B12 could be the reason for tingling in the feet. The fifth cause of burning feet is toxins. Some heavy metals like mercury, this needs to be emphasized here. Fish from mining areas have a lot of mercury. But it's not just in rivers that mercury is found. Sea fish are also contaminated. The larger the fish, the worse. A classic example is a shark. The shark we eat in the United States is contaminated with mercury because it is at the top of the food chain, and there's a good chance it's contaminated. So stay away from sharks. 
But other heavy metals like arsenic, lead, and thallium can cause peripheral neuropathy and be the cause of your burning feet. The sixth cause of burning feet, circulatory problems. If you smoke, have high cholesterol, or have atherosclerosis, the arteries that supply your legs and feet may be clogged, causing this burning and pain in the legs and feet. If you walk and then start feeling your leg heavy, burning, with tiredness pain, this could be intermittent claudication, a sign that your arteries are not properly irrigating the muscles of your lower limbs, and this is serious, it can lead to amputation. If you feel this, seek a vascular specialist urgently. The seventh cause of burning feet is tarsal tunnel syndrome. Tarsal tunnel syndrome causes pain, tingling, or burning in the ankle, heel, or foot. This condition is caused by the compression of the tibial nerve, which extends along the inner part of the ankle and foot. If symptoms are severe or persist despite treatment with medications, the doctor may recommend surgery to decompress the nerve. The eighth cause of burning feet is alcohol. Alcohol can damage not only the nerve tissue of the brain but also peripheral nerves. Moreover, alcohol consumption causes a deficiency of B1, which I just mentioned. Drinking too much alcohol can lead to a type of peripheral neuropathy known as alcoholic neuropathy. And it's widespread in long-time alcoholics. One in four long-time alcoholics suffers from this type of neuropathy. So, if you drink a lot and start with this burning, pain, or tingling in the feet, seek help too. To stop drinking. The ninth cause of burning feet is sciatic. A herniated disc in the lumbar or even natural degenerative processes of the lumbosacral spine that occur with age can compress the sciatic nerve, causing this burning or tingling in the feet. Sciatic pain is a characteristic pain because it starts in the buttocks and goes down to the tip of the foot. The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body, and the peak incidence of sciatic pain is around 40 years of age. It can have reduced sensitivity of the skin, pain when walking, and even loss of strength in the legs. 10 and finally, the 10th cause and the most common cause of burning feet diabetic neuropathy. This is a number one cause, the most frequent. Around 7% of the United States population is diabetic. That's a lot of people. And we know that diabetic neuropathy can affect up to half of people with this disease, meaning almost 7 million people in the United States have diabetic neuropathy. If it is damaging peripheral nerves, it is damaging other nerves, it may be damaging the retina, it can cause impotence, and it also damages your kidneys. Some people with diabetes have mild symptoms. But for others, diabetic neuropathy can be quite painful and disabling. So, if you have diabetes, one way to prevent diabetic neuropathy or stop its progression is to have strict, adequate control of your blood sugar levels, lose weight, and lead a healthy life. And look, diabetic neuropathy can progress, causing ulcers, wounds that don't heal, and even amputation. So you should be vigilant and check your feet every day, looking for any signs of infection, swelling, redness, or cracked skin that may be the entry point for bacteria. So, keep your feet clean and dry, moisturize your feet to prevent cracks, trim your nails well, and wear suitable, comfortable shoes that fit well and are padded. If you have diabetes, you have to keep an eye on your feet. Here, I've mentioned the 10 most frequent causes, but there are many others. Did you like the video? Did you learn about burning feet? Remember to share so that more people have this knowledge. Remember to subscribe. And until the following video. Thank you very much.